Anel Coates, it's been a big week for Lexicon Pharmaceuticals. Stock popped 60% yesterday, although it's giving some of that back today. Uh, it's because of a positive late-stage trial for your carcinoid syndrome drug. First, what's carcinoid syndrome? Because this is a rare form of cancer, right? Well, carcinoid syndrome is a carcinoid tumor that's found in the GI tract. When that carcinoid tumor metastasizes to other organs, specifically the liver, it starts to overproduce serotonin. And that overproduction of serotonin causes explosive, unpredictable diarrhea, flushing, and including heart valve damage. So it's a very serious disease. And how does your drug combat this? Essentially what we do is it's put on top of standard of care. With the way standard of care works is somatostatin analog therapy. It surrounds the cancer cell and prevents serotonin from escaping that cancer cell. We go inside the cell and try to shut down the serotonin production inside that cell. So what you end up with is a complementary effect between the standard of care and putting telotrostat etoprate on top of standard of care. So you get a better outcome for patients who become uncontrolled so that they uh, can go back to having more of a normal life. Now I mentioned this is a rare form of cancer. So how many patients would, able, would be able to use your drug and what do you think the cost will be? So there's about 14,000 patients in the United States with carcinoid syndrome. And the standard of care generally will do well in the first couple of years, but these patients eventually will no longer be contained. And therefore, when you put telotra etoprate on top of the standard of care, you get a better effect for these patients. About 45% of these patients will not be well maintained. And that's really the addressable market for telotra etoprate in combination with standard of care. Currently, right now, the overall standard of care is anywhere between fifty-five to sixty thousand dollars, and we haven't done our pricing work. We do that once we have a product that we uh, will submit to the FDA, and then we we'll do all our pricing work. But I think you can expect us to be parity priced with the market or better. Speaking of which, can you talk about the timeline for bringing this to market? Get it to the FDA. If it passes there, when will we see it in the marketplace? A uh, great question. So, uh, as you may know, Telotra Etoprate has both an orphan drug status and a fast track status with the, with the FDA, which we're very excited about. Therefore, we plan to submit an NDA by the end of first quarter next year. Should we get accelerated review, we will be in market by the fourth quarter of next year. Now, Ipsen SA has the rights to sell this outside the U.S. and Japan. Do you have a partner uh, in the U.S.? I mean, talk about the marketing plan. I know it's a long ways away, but talk about the marketing plan once you get everything approved and can sell here. Greg, we're, we are so excited because we're one of the few companies that actually discovered our own compound, developed our own compound, and in the United States we will essentially commercialize our own compound. We already have our commercial infrastructure put in place. Now that we know we have a drug and we're very confident about these results that we're going to submit to the FDA, we will start layering in the rest of our team that will make up our commercial organization. So we're pretty much ready to go once the drug is approved. And what about the burn rate? Do you have the cash to get there? Uh, great question. Last year we raised uh, almost $300 million, and that was for the sake of being able to get to Lotus to Etoprate through to the FDA, get it into the marketplace and launch it, as well as to fund our second compound, Sotoglifosin, for diabetes. So we have, we're very, very confident that we have enough cash to actually see us to revenue generation. All right, we're going to watch it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching The Street.